continue our team coverage right now with meteorologist Danny Beckstrom. And Danny, I understand that you have some updated numbers in terms of aftershocks. Yeah, we have updated numbers from the USGS on the percentage chance of seeing these earthquakes continue. The chance for three magnitude three and four pretty high chance for magnitude five plus 71%. You can see these percentage chances dropping off pretty rapidly. The chance of a magnitude six plus is just 12%. The magnitude chance of a seven plus or excuse me, the chance of a magnitude seven plus just 1%. So we are finally starting to see the chance for these aftershocks back off, but we've had over 3000 earthquakes now recorded in the Sears Valley sequence. So that is a lot. And I believe uh, our reporter Leah just said that she felt another aftershock in the area of Ridgecrest. So things are starting to slow down a little bit, but it's far from over. Those twos, threes and fours in Ridgecrest will be hard to feel in Vegas, but if there was another five, six or seven, that's when we would start to see the ground shaking ourselves. You can see clearly where that fault line is, so things are still really busy, but our chances for feeling it here in Las Vegas uh, are starting to dwindle with those percentages pretty low for those larger magnitude earthquakes. We will see a few changes overnight into tomorrow in our forecast, uh, so I'll have more on that coming up. All right, Danny, sounds good. And of course, there have been multiple businesses impacted by this earthquake. A lot of them had to close down. We're showing you video here from inside Albertsons in Ridgecrest. You see everything on the ground there and even a piece of the ceiling hanging down. We had three crews there last night. They were also able to capture this devastation here. You were looking at the damage inside of an O'Reilly's auto parts store. You see those chemicals and auto supplies just littered all over the ground. The ceiling also falling down in that store as well, hanging above the store shelves. Also, our crew was able to spot this, a big plume of smoke in Ridgecrest. This was from a mobile home fire. People there told our crews those folks were in the process of moving out because of the quake. Families felt the shaking with the stuff flying off the shelves. Also in Ridgecrest, a hospital remains closed tonight.